fourth grade orchestra, you have the choice to select an instrument and participate in a class that you can take all year round. In orchestra, we have four choices of instrument. The violin, the viola, the cello, and the bass. We have what we call fractional sizes. That means that there are smaller versions and larger versions of the instrument. So no matter if you're a tall fourth grader or a not so tall fourth grader, we'll find an instrument that fits you. Let me show you a little bit about those instruments. First, I'll start with the cello that I'm holding. Here's a close-up version of the instrument. When we play the instrument, we can pluck with our fingers. We can also play with the bow. It's called playing arco. When you start off in fourth grade orchestra, the pieces are very easy. Rest, 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 rest. And they get a little more interesting and challenging with time. Here's probably one of the first pieces we'll play for a performance. By the end of the year, I hope to be playing this piece with you. And now, let's check out the violin. Violin, of course, is a bit smaller, easier to hold and play. It goes under your jaw like so. all of the same pieces that a cello can play. The violin and the viola are very similar in size and shape. Violas can be larger than violins, and they have almost all the same strings. Every string instrument has four. I'm sorry that I don't have a viola to show you today or a bass. The bass is an instrument that you, t you have to stand up to play. I have stools in my rooms too for those that need a stool to sit on. It has four strings, but they tend to be a lot bigger and thicker. So those are the instruments we have in fourth grade orchestra. Now, let me show you some things that you're going to learn in fourth grade orchestra. You will learn to play your instrument by plucking the string or playing with the bow, like I just showed you. You'll gain the skills to read music, play with others, and even make or even write your own music. Orchestra begins in September of 2020 and lasts through the school year and ending in May 2021. We can provide instruments to students for the school year or you can get your own. Some families will qualify for low cost or no cost participation. Be sure to fill out your free and reduced lunch application every year, even if you completed one last year. How do we sign up for orchestra? It's very easy. Step one, watch this presentation. You're almost done. Step two, talk with your family. This is very important. Since we commit to orchestra for the whole year, we want to know that we have our whole family behind us and supporting us. If we all agree to join orchestra, then turn in your enrollment form. We have a paper copy and an electronic version too. Talk to your orchestra teacher me, or your classroom teacher if you need one. Once you turn in that form, you're enrolled in orchestra, and we'll get started at the very end of September, after we've measured you for the right size instrument and talked to you about everything you want to know about joining orchestra. Well, that's all I can tell you now about orchestra for fourth grade. It's a lot of fun, and you gain a skill of reading and playing music by the end. Here is how you get a hold of me if you have any more questions. Of course, always ask your classroom teacher, but you could email me at the following address. And Mr. Andrew Travers, teaching orchestra at Cleveland Hawthorne and Terry Redland. 
That email address is andrew.travers at k12.sd.us. Thanks very much for your time.